Hey everyone, I'm Robert Pedruti, and today I'm going to talk to you about the self-serve data feature, now available for your use on the Quantopian platform. With this feature, you have the ability to upload your own time series data to your Quantopian account and access it in research and the IDE directly via pipeline, and even routinely update your data using an FTP or from either Google Sheets or Dropbox. Because of this live updating capability, you can now enter algorithms that use your data in the daily Quantopian contest. In this video, I'll talk about the self-serve data feature from three primary directions. What is this tool, and how does it fit into your workflow on the platform? How do you use it to get your data into your research and algorithms? And lastly, a few reasons why the self-serve data feature enhances your work on the platform conducting investment research and creating successful algorithms. Quants rely on alternative sources of data to produce alpha, necessitating your ability to use your data in your investment research. The self-serve data feature allows you to upload your own time series data sets to your account and collects, stores, and surfaces it in a point-in-time fashion through Pipeline. Pipeline is an API that allows your algorithm to define and execute desired trailing window calculations, thus defining your algorithm's universe of securities to trade and providing computations for such securities used by an algorithm to make important investment decisions. In finance, one of the biggest challenges in accurately using historical data in simulations, such as in a backtest, is ensuring that the data are as they appeared in a given point in time and have not been modified with knowledge of future events. Modifying historical data from time t with events after time t would diminish the accuracy of your data because you would be then using information that would not have been known or available during period t to influence the data. The modified data would therefore be subject to something called look-ahead bias. Because self-serve data surfaces your data in a point-in-time fashion, look-ahead bias is avoided. Let's talk about the process of preparing and uploading your data using self-serve data. To make surfacing the data through pipeline possible, the tool currently supports data sets containing one row of data per asset per day. It's also important to keep in mind that the data you upload must be mapped to assets currently supported on the Quantopian platform, and rows of data mapped to assets we do not support will be skipped. For this example, I'll be uploading an example data set containing a time series of campaign contributions by different companies. Notice how each asset contains a single value each day. To begin uploading your prepared data set, navigate to the Data tab under Account Settings and select Add Data Set. Here, you'll be asked to name your data set, upload a historical load, and configure live updates. In this case, I'll name my data set Company Contributions Data Set, fittingly. Next, I'll upload my data from a local folder. You will then be prompted to define some data in your file with data types. This is needed so that Pipeline can properly interact with the data. We'll define the primary date and primary asset fields and declare the data types of the other fields. For this example, we'll set date as a primary date column and symbol as the primary symbol column and count and sum as numbers. Finally, I'm asked if I want to set up a nightly update process for my data set. If I want to live update a data set, I'll need to host a file somewhere, like on Dropbox or Google Sheets, and keep it up to date. Files are checked for new data on a nightly basis. Since we're only using historical uploads of our data, we can select no live data. It's important to note that we can't modify any of these fields after submitting. Check out the notebook and introduction to self-serve data for a written walkthrough of the upload process. After submitting and successfully uploading my data, I can then import and use my data set in Pipeline in either Research or the IDE. Conveniently, the data page from that list gives us a sample pipeline that we can easily copy and paste into a research notebook. This sample pipeline constructs a pipeline factor from the first value column of our data. In this case, the count value column is selected and used in this pipeline. Running this pipeline reveals our data set to be correctly mapped and ready to be used in my ongoing research and algorithm development. There's a lot that self-serve data does behind the scenes to get your data into a form compatible with the rest of the platform, from ensuring point-in-timeness of your data to accurate symbol mapping. 
check out the notebook, Self Serve Data, How Does It Work? for an exploration of ways your data is processed, linked in the comments below. Now that you have imported your data set, you can use it like any other data set, which includes compatibility with other tools provided on the platform to supplement your workflow, such as AlphaLens, with which you can analyze the performance of a pipeline factor, or Pyfolio, where you can analyze the performance of your algorithm that uses uploaded data sets with self-serve data. Check out the third attached notebook for an explanation of how self-serve data enhances your work on the platform, including your participation in the Quantopian contest and by extension, the allocation process. I hope you found this video a helpful high-level walkthrough of self-serve data. Check out the links below for more in-depth material describing this feature, and please email any questions or issues to dataupload at quantopian.com. Thanks for watching.